Hello my makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi my name is Teresa. I am deliberately introducing myself because you've probably seen Robert's face and just clicked on and kind of gone don't care about the random other person that is in this. No. Um, so at least you don't have to have a, a weekly reminder that Robert and I are not the same person because we've never actually never been know. <laughs> There's never going to be a point where my husband kind of comes in. Are you Robert or are you Trisha? <laughs> I can never really tell. Um, but my friends, uh, what I do over on this channel is every week I talk about the new makeup releases as voted by you guys, because I don't know if you know, but there are like a disgusting amount of new makeup releases every single week. So you guys tag me in them and I discuss the things that you guys actually want to talk about. So let's, you know, filter it out so we don't get any nonsense. So I want to say a massive thank you to all of you who have tagged me in content. I'm going to show your names right now. Literally, there would be no episode without you. And a massive thank you to my Patreons. You keep the lights on, um, the ring light on anyways. <laughs> and a happy birthday to the fabulous Missa. Make me up, Missa. Ah, yeah. Yes, it was her birthday. And a big happy birthday to Claire and to Laura as well. As Robert is on this week, I'm lazy and can't be bothered to think of a theme because every week we do a theme to try and, you know, <laughs> stretch our makeup muscles. And I said to my husband, I was like, I think we should do Purple Rain. as a uh -huh. So he was like, no, you have to ask Robert what he wants to do. And I said, I, I know it will be purple. I was like, purple. <laughs> I felt very vindicated by saying it's going to be Purple Rain. And normally if you guys watch me you know I'm horribly lazy because I don't adhere to my own themes I come straight from seven eight hours of lectures and try and film but it's midterm so I made an effort because Robert's <laughs> on and also Missa did say if I didn't make an effort she would hurt me so violence it works no it doesn't <laughs> I mean, I'm a behavioral psychologist. Enforcement <laughs> is very much the thing that motivates us, believe it or not. So <laughs> I obviously attempted to do the theme, Robert. Uh, uh, look, uh, anyone who watches, whenever I have somebody on with me, they always upstage me. So thanks. No, I think your makeup looks incredible. I love. All the, I was gonna go and stick some little bits on, but I was like, it's too much. I'm I'm not brave enough today to do. That. <laughs> I'm. I'm really trusting lash glue for some of these. Like that is that's a heavy duty thing that I have. Yeah. On. So it will, I think it will stick. Lash glue is great for every. I mean, you can stick all sorts on your face with lash glue. Let's you know? say so you can like stick all things together. You know, like broken marriages, relationships. <laughs> lash Absolutely. Glue the Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So my fabulous Patreons have done some looks as well. So have a little look at them now. But we do have some bits and pieces to talk about. And the very first thing is House Labs. And they're coming out with some new blushes. It's called the Color Fuse Blush. There's five shades at the moment. There's Dragon Fruit Days, Pomelo Peach, Watermelon Bliss, Hibiscus Haze, and Acai Sky. And they're €45.95 Euro each. Now, I'm not like a, a cheap bitch. I fancy myself of having more money than I actually do. But €46 Euro for a blush feels very like. I think that's really expensive. I I don't know where brands like get off it, like pricing things so high when we have such good quality at a lower price point nowadays and in this you know day and age 45 45 46 is I think a lot for a, a blush and I'm I like house labs I'm I really I'm surprised how much I like the brand apart from their clean thing oh. but the products are good but I don't think 45 is a fair price point to be honest with you yeah, I I mean I I'm so glad that House Labs kind of like reimagined themselves. Yeah. And they moved mm -hmm. away from being like Amazon Beauty, which was yeah. what it essentially was. And I feel like the reimagining has been great. And like just looking at those blushes, I'm like, okay, these look really, really nice. I'm intrigued by like this idea of like a universal red. I mean, yeah. the, uh, there's it feels like a challenge of them saying we have a universal red. So it feels like they're yeah. like, waving a little flag of go and buy it so we can all. Yeah. 
feels like that's the thing been... that's the thing like oh viral you know <laughs> probably will be i feel like it's going to be all over tiktok of people kind of going yeah oh, they say that this is going yeah. to be universal red that suits everyone that's <laughs> right yeah <laughs> you know what i do i do like the shades and i think they've done like a good group of shades there's that nude like peachy tone which i would go for and even the one that's like what's the bottom left one down there um hibiscus haze i think that kind of more like rosy a burnt rosy pink I really really like and I again I do like their bronzers and their blushes but that's a lot of it's a lot of money I do I, I notice House Labs well they always come out with a color first and then they're like now we'll release nudes and sometimes I just wish it was the other way around you know <laughs> just so we can try it in a comfortable zone and then go into the color a little bit more you know if, if we like the product it does make sense though for Lady Gaga that she'd start yes. off yeah very okay. true yeah so I get that I was looking on the website today when I was putting this forward. So they're they're already like putting it on the website and it's already got like over 200 reviews. So 203 reviews, but it's not available yet. And if you go down at the reviews, it's all like, thank you, House Labs, for gifting me this for a review. And it's all like an oh, average really? five stars. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> And I'm like, look, don't get me wrong. If you're gifted something, you can absolutely end up like loving it, enjoying it, whatever. Of course. Mm. But statistically, it just seems really weird that absolutely everyone is like, thank you so much. This is amazing. It's changed yeah. my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, maybe maybe hold out until you see some reviews of people haven't been gifted it. Yeah. yeah. I'm I'm going to like have somebody else be the sacrificial lamb and just see... It's the best way. How it's the best it? way to do it. Yeah. I have very much religion in my head today because I forgot that it was Ash Wednesday. So I was very confused when I went. Oh, into of course. Town, yeah, yeah. And everyone had black on their forehead. Yeah. And I had just been watching The Last of Us. And oh, you're like, this is it. It's happening now. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> the end of days has come. But I don't have the get up and go to get up and go. So, yeah, right. it, yeah, it was a whole thing. I like the look of these blushes, but they, I just, I can't justify spending 45 euro for, for like a blush. Right. And I feel like uh, uh, blushes blush. I notice the difference quite often with cream blushes, with cream blush textures. But when it comes to powder blush, I never look at a powder blush on someone else and think, oh, that looks so different to the powder blush you wore the other day. What is it? You know what I mean? Like powder blush is powder blush. I will that might be. I hope that's not controversial for people. <laughs> this is how you get cancelled, Robert. This is it. This is the end. <laughs> the instigating moment. I mean, I have some really nice powder blushes that are from like drugstore brands. And Absolutely. You could pick mm -hmm. them up against like the really high end ones as well. Yeah, so, yeah. I Even people know. like Beauty Bay that do that own formula. That's a nice blush. That's a really nice blush. And I would choose that over those nasty Dior ones that are like, you know, flavorless, flavorless chalk, colorless chalk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if somebody. Like if I just like got rich in the morning, which is often the scenario that I decide is going to happen. But if I got rich in the morning, I probably would pick it up. Because yeah, maybe the peachy one. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm talking about like Jeffrey Bezos levels of rich, you know? Like literally no cares in the world. Yeah. 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 I mean, why not? <laughs> I can eat an iguana. I can do this too. When I put it to you guys, because I do like to put these products to you to see what you think, 34% of you loved it. Which actually pretty high, all things considered. The next thing that we have is, and I feel like Glam Light comes out with a lot of stuff for an indie brand. Mm, mm. But maybe that's me being super, super critical. This is their Chucky collaboration. And I love that they were like, this is out in time for Valentine's Day. Because yeah. there's love quite like a murderous puppet. <laughs> I know that's how I show my love, mostly by high. Every day. <laughs> Every yeah. So we have a rather strange collection. The full collection, by the way, has already sold out and it included the crazy in love palette for $32 the chucky lip kit the tiff lip kit the chucky eyeliner duo the chucky romances dead mirror and the chucky blush now the deal with the chucky blush was it was meant to be a duo of two different shades but okay something went wrong somewhere along the way and they couldn't get copywriting or something along those lines was what I was I want to say reading but I think I heard it somewhere who knows and it's, it's an untrusted and unverifiable source <laughs> So when you look at the blush, you're kind of like, 
why are there two pans the exact so same similar. color? Yeah. No, they are the exact same color. It's oh, not they are. Oh, I was thinking maybe it's a picture. Maybe one's a bit darker or one's like a deeper shade. One's a shimmer or something like that. Or they're just the same. They're exactly oh. the same. So they had wanted to do different ones, but they didn't have time. Then they didn't want to push the launch to a different time because... Like I said, Valentine's Day <laughs> murder. So it makes sense. I do feel though that Glam Like could kind of come out with something at any point and they'll generally do well. I agree. Yeah, I they're, agree. They're yeah, the their point. collections are nicely heavily themed. And I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just wish some brands would go through theming more than just for packaging if that makes sense like yes this is all red and blood and stuff like that and maybe the lips that look like the similar color but I don't know Chucky has a certain you know certain clothing you know he comes in a, a particular box like there's there's loads of different shades than just these and I think it's a, it's a nice palette but for the theme I'm, I wish there was something a little bit different you know part one part two or something I don't know I will say when I saw that they were sneak peeking this I was filled with dread as I usually am whenever I see a sneak peek and I thought to myself <laughs> oh god glam light are they going to do like a red and berry palette because they've done that five million times and I just I have so like much. yeah I have a few yeah I was like if they do this again I'll be so annoyed but this is actually quite a different color story from them I haven't mm. seen this so I appreciate that and it mm. is different I full transparency I've ended up picking it up because I have uh no will and I'm an idiot same. same yeah absolutely I mean I didn't get it because I looked at it and I was like you know what I've I've seen palettes like this before I'm not going to use it but I do love the, the how everything is grayer like it does have kind of like a gray tone to everything those reds and the purples are super deep actually the swatches aren't that deep um I don't know. Maybe I'm not falling for um, good packaging anymore, which is something I, I'm passionate about. <laughs> they used to be able I mean, to... It's just not getting them. me. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like Glam Light are kind of like the new Melt. Everyone got right. so excited about Melt years ago of like their packaging, etc. And I feel like Melt has gone down. Nobody talks about them in the same way as they did. And now Glam Light yeah. are the one. Yeah, their formula is nice. Glam Light do have a really nice formula. I have a few of their palettes and I've enjoyed using the palettes when I do. Um, but it's not something I would jump on, you know? I mean, I've never tried them before because they don't ship to Ireland. So I'm getting this oh. by a nefarious means. And by that, I mean... That, conf that confuses me. Yeah, that confuses me. We're like this far away from each other. No, yeah. Ireland doesn't exist, uh, according to some companies. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> I mean, fair, fair. Uh, who'd want to come here anyways? It's just <laughs> rain and sadness. Um, no, I've heard it's beautiful. I haven't been, but I've heard it's beautiful. Well, you've somewhere <laughs> to stay, Robert. Oh, yeah. No, I'll take you up now and I'll be weird about it. But you said. <laughs> I turned up. Remember when you said. Yeah. <laughs> Two in the morning, just knocking at the door. Yeah. Here now. Look outside. They have a Chucky palette. <laughs> oh, exactly. That's what I would expect. Um, I mean, the collection and all—it kind of makes sense. Um, it's fine. Mm. I I will say I am surprised that just the full collection sold out. Because when I was looking at this earlier today, you could still get everything else, and this went on sale really? a few days ago. Uh -huh. Do they do like the whole like buy the PR package situation? Yeah. So that's the one that's like, okay, that makes sense. I guess like things like this, it's uh, like if you collect things like like horror stuff or in particular Chucky, then you're like, okay, I need to get it. You know what I mean? And what a nicer way to have it than in a PR package. And their PR packages are quite nice, man. Like they, they do a whole box, <laughs> which is how PR packages work. But <laughs> a box, you say? Oh. I it's coming a sack. <laughs> Well, <laughs> when I come up with my own brand, it will be this, yeah. covered in a sack. Like, like a sack, just an old wrapped up t-shirt with makeup in. <laughs> I'll just like put it in like newspaper, like fish and chips. Yeah. Like here. You're like, oh, what's happening? And it's don't uh, fr uh, Friendly, it's planet friendly. What's the word I'm trying to say? Yes, environmental. Yeah, that's right. Environment, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's exactly why I would do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm a lazy bitch. <laughs> Realistically. Yeah, it's fine. I think the palette was way more different than anything I've seen from them mm. of late. And it was 
I was kind of relieved to see them go in a totally different direction for them. I think this is a nice alternative for some more questionable brands that are out there uh, that shall shall not be named. But I think this is a nice alternative. And when I put it to you guys, 50% of you ended up loving it. So it was a very deep love. When I saw this next one, I had a horrible feeling of deja vu. And I just thought, God, why are they re-advertising this? This is not new, but it apparently is. This is Huda's new, and I say new, matte obsessions. There's cool and there's warm and it's all matte and two of the shades are like a cream to matte formula. Right, okay. 31 euro each, which to me seems excessively expensive for matte. Yeah, I, hmm, listen, I, I'm excited by the colour beige. Like, I love it. And if I see a good grey, I'm like, oh my God, I love grey so much. So looking at these, I'm like, yes, I do quite like them. However, nude is nude. And I feel like it's great when there's something more to offer in the palette. If it wasn't all matte, if there were some exciting shimmers, exciting like metallics, it's nice that there's like a different texture in there. I think that's really nice. But actually when you look at it, a lot of people could have these mattes across various different palettes, unless they had this like truly unique texture. If it was like a shimmer texture that was really unique to them, then I think it would be a little bit more interesting. But I, I just feel like, I mean, I could pull out three palettes and I think cover all those shades, you know what I mean? I even feel like Huda has this already across mm. the many, many palettes. If you looked at the rose quartz, there's elements of that like cool tone mm. purple in there. Mm. Um, they have a couple of their nine pan palettes that look like this. When you look at the warm matte, uh, I'm going to say I was in TK Maxx the other day because that is my mothership. And they had like the, the caramel and the toffee ones and the toast. Oh, really? And they are very similar in tone to this. Yeah, yeah. So it just hmm. like, I mean, I know that Huda, whenever she wants to do neutral, she's like, oh, pinky toned purples. Because that's yes, yeah. neutral. And that's fine. Yeah. I, like, I like pinky toned purples myself. But I'd like to see something a little bit different. It just yeah, I th- I think so, and I think like I don't know. I think if your brand is quite well established and you you know you've had things already, this kind of release is quite underwhelming. It's a little bit like you know we're going into oh my god, what season are we in in terms of sales? Like spring. coming into summer, I guess spring summer. It's like it doesn't really I don't know. It just doesn't come across as anything. It comes across as a staple, and I think people are past the staples. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean at this point. Yeah. A chunk, like even young people, like mm. 14, 15 year olds have like an incredible makeup collection. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I look at them Absolutely. and I'm like, I had like a dinky little thing from the two euro shop and I was delighted with that. And you have like, oh. <laughs> but I remember when I was a kid, just like having rubbish makeup and being delighted. Oh, yeah. With yeah. Mary Kate and Ashley, their uh, makeup line, Miss Sporty, and being happy about the gloss, you know, smelt like. Whatever, but also burnt your lips. <laughs> for, me, for me, it was like, oh, look, a magazine came with like a dinky little <laughs> yeah. colored lip balm. And I felt yeah. really fancy. And I'd go to like yeah. the Feroiga discos with that and be like, yeah, yeah, lips all Everyone hanging. knows I'm wearing it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is perfect for hanging out in a sweaty shed in the middle of rural Ireland. <laughs> Yeah, that's a very, very uh, Irish reference. <laughs> yeah. Um, it does feel it feels mm. weird when you're looking at this. And I know that Huda was saying a couple of months ago that she was taking a little bit of a step back from makeup because she was like, I'm all about the NFTs. And I was like, Well, that's a bit of a an odd direction to to Yeah. That's some weird cult like behavior. <laughs> yeah. And then people are like, oh, you're just not clever enough to understand it. And I'm like, yeah. It's an image that I could crop myself and hang it up on my wall if I wanted to. Like, come on. I'm not paying £50,000 for a picture of a camel or whatever. <laughs> my cousin's child is four. He can make loads of original pictures. Yeah. And then sell it and be like, yes, I'm some of those. <laughs> time I monetized off of my child relatives as well. Like, yeah. 
yeah I just I don't get it it feels very redundant it's been done before and a lot of you guys actually felt that when I showed it to you because yes a lot yeah five percent loved it and 95 percent said bored this has been done before can I just say this next one I was really glad that this came up when you're here because Robert is a Disney adult and hardcore I'm no apologies I am into it I love it I don't cry when I look at castles but the rest of it <laughs> you have the, the tears inside inside <laughs> Listen, Snow White is my least favourite princess because she annoys the hell out of me. But um, I think it's just the voice and the fact that it was made at such an early period of time. They've made this like useless person <laughs> you know it's it's a bit of a a bit of a strange one it's a remnant um, of like a really specific time in history yeah, like women yeah. look at them yeah women would know she was on in the woods someone better kiss her you know yeah it's, it's, it's a strange cartoon um I actually have this downstairs I, I get um PR from Colourpop um three times a week it feels like <laughs> because they release something every I don't know it feels like every week and actually the pictures here do it more justice than it has in real life the palette isn't that vibrant um I actually don't recognize some of the colors in that palette to how it looks in real life but I I do like their their lip glosses and stuff anyway and it, that purple does have that nice shiny purple the one in the evil queen pack and I do like their all their super shock products but again it it looks a lot more pigmented on here than it does does in real life and those are all taken by the way from Colourpop's own website and this has been oh, an really? issue that I've had with them for mm. I mean I've been doing this for about three years now and I've had this from like day one of does this actually correspond to the actual things because if you look at them or if you look at trend mood or if you look at somebody's actual yeah. palette, there's mm. a massive discrepancy yeah so I don't love that for buyers because you you're no. not a hundred percent certain on what you're getting right the, the colors of the palette they make sense you know yes I, see that's what I do like at least it's like oh look Snow White you know it, it, it does make sense and I love that apple lip balm I think that's cute you know the whole apple thing smells like apple it smells really good oh I have it right next to me actually it's cute I really really like it um, I was a bit surprised because in all the pictures I thought it looked a bit more like whipped almost like it looked maybe like um those sugar scrubs kind of texture without the scrub um, but it's very, it's just very smooth. Oh. Very round. It smells really good. It smells like apple, what you would think, like, you know, fake apple. You know what it smells like, actually? Like air freshener at Christmas. You know, when it just like, like air wick apple. Oh, it smells no. like that. Oh, you know what? That might make me gag a little bit on my lips. Think about it. Do we grab the palette quick? Yes, please. If you I'll have it. Let me just shimmy off this. <laughs> I'm back. And so through my editing powers. You know, really no gap. <laughs> just teleported. We're at that point. Just yeah. for influencers, not for the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of us have to use this our legs. Okay, I see what you mean. It isn't as... They're a lot more muted, yeah. See, that <laughs> that yellow looks super... I mean, it, it isn't actually that horrendously off, but the, it's this top row, really... Think of this top row really and even these on here aren't as deep as they look actually it even looks different on my on my camera that's it I will say this is like again another issue with Colourpop is the the eyeshadows they come up with tend to be for the very very pale which is great for me because I am like one shade off of a corpse so <laughs> for me perfect but for anyone past that, it can be really difficult to get. Yeah, there's a few of those shades, like those shimmer shades, but it, it makes half of the palette like useless, you know? Yeah. This so the mirror if anyone wants to get. I do. Oh, uh, well, yeah. The mirror. Very lightweight. Oh, so you can't do any damage with that. No, no. I I'm want not... most of my makeup implements to also be used in heavy combat, if possible. Yeah. You never know. End she of really days, loads. what you're gonna need. I mean, that's why my mirror is huge. Like, look at this massive. Oh, you get a whole oh family God. with that. Yeah. <laughs> like, in a nice way. <laughs> I'm recovering and I have this horrible wheeze in my chest. It's awful. So, if you hear it, sorry. I'm not, I um, I don't have lungs full of tar or anything. <laughs> Oh, we're back in the 1920s. Yeah. yeah. I forgot to, <laughs> the to have camels. 
to help the weeds in my lungs. Fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant medical advice. Yeah, I mean, it makes mm. sense. The, the whole collection is fine. This is definitely, this is a collector's thing. Like, it's not. Listen, yeah. I'm I'm happy they sent it to me because my Disney makeup collection is like, and I, I will add that to it, but I'm not, it isn't like exciting. Oh my God, I need to use this. Like, you know, yellow, red and blue together, just in general, in my mind, I'm like, oh. It just makes you. me think of like children's cartoons. I was going to say mm. the more bags, but that's a really specific Irish the who? The more bags. It's a it's a they're like furry uh Muppet creatures and they lived in a castle. It, were they real puppets? No, they were like they were in a costume. Oh. Irish oh. TV is really weird. We also had a panda that just kept attacking the TV presenter and they just used to fling themselves around the studio. It's very weird. I'll send you a link to that at some point because Yeah, I'm gonna need to check that out. <laughs> chaos. It's very, very strange. Um this yeah this is definitely like for collectors and like you can even see it when I put this to you guys it was kind of not received that well like the palette did mm. not do well 11% loved it the lip kits they definitely fared a lot better I think they're a lot more interesting and things yeah. like the super shock blushes the mirror and the lip scrub were far more favorable I will say I quite like the super shock blushes so I do. I like they have they do bronzes in Super Shock and they're beautiful as well. I love those. They're really, really nice. I just think, you know, looking at that green apple, how, how green apple, it would have been amazing if the inside product was green or just something like a little bit like it's a poison apple, you know? Not yeah, just like an, an apple. Little, an extra like, stick it up a bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it would have been, been nice. cuter. Well, you know. More gimmicky. <laughs> the colour pop, hire Robert. He will help you with the product. Yeah, I'll tell you everything. <laughs> Yay! Oh God! Definitely, you need to give them info on product development for Urban Decay because this. I do, you know what? When I saw this, I saw someone share it, and I was like, "Just stop! <laughs> Enough's enough. It needs to end." You know the. Phrase, Are you trying to end yourself? You know. You know the phrase "flogging a dead horse." Mm, this is mm. a dead horse. Like there isn't even a carcass left. It's just skeletal remains. Right, like, flowers going around it. Up. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's like that scene in The Last of Us where you're just seeing the skeletal remains. Like that's all. That's all. Yeah, that's it. Moment. That's all it is. And it's puzzling, I, honestly. I I say this every time I see Urban Decay. Uh, what happened? You used to be interesting. I know. I know. Like, I remember when I started getting interested in makeup, and I was like, "Oh, look at all the shiny things!" And they were yeah the more interesting on age stuff. And now this is. Nonsense. I remember my my f now fiance bought me the naked free palette and I was like if this is like he just bought me a fucking diamond like I was so happy I was like oh my god I use this on my weddings I can it's in my kit I'm gonna get this naked free palette out and everyone's gonna be like oh my god you know because people loved it back then and now it's like I I just I just I mean it looks like the, the naked free palette with, with four different shades you know it's it's not good it's not good well, why do they? I did hear a rumor. The naked bit. Well, I heard this rumor that they're trying to push more in the Asian market, and these neutral tones tend to sell more. But, however, I feel like that's changing a lot. Like things are changing in that kind of like beauty space where matte skin is becoming more popular, more colors becoming popular. I think it's just going to phase out everywhere. They're going to fizzle out, and it's not going to be a good move for them. You know. I mean, we've seen big brands go in the last year or two. I mm -hmm. It wouldn't shock me if Urban Decay went. Like, no, they haven't changed their formulas either. Like, that. Yeah. I think the big issue is even the colour stories are rubbish, if we're 100% honest. Yeah, yeah, the terrible. formulas are also, like, not on the level of the price. They must have thing. changed them at some point because I used to love their formula and everyone used to love them, unless we've just experienced better formula now and, and I think better that's textures, what it is. but is that it but there's even indie brands out there who make incredible formulas that are much superior to this and it's like you can't you can't put out shit anymore and, and get away with it you know I shouldn't be swearing because you're gonna get demonetized I, I need to fine. remember 
They haven't I said, demonetized I keep... me yet. I think they're just huh? very confused. They, yeah, they haven't. I think they're just very confused by my accent. And like every time they hear a swear, they just kind of go, oh, shillelagh, it's fine. Um, Like it's part of my culture to swear. So they really. Oh, uh, yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult. Like, I'll try not to. Every I keep trying to remember mine. <laughs> oh. They haven't demonetized me. Yet. I think it's like as long as you don't say it in the first minute, you're you're all right. Right, right. After that's that, it. You can just drop just it whenever you do speak. what you want. <laughs> exactly. And what I like to do is swear and smile at the same time. It disarms people. Confuses like, everyone. What could yeah. possibly be swearing? It's too confusing. And smiling. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, but this, like I saw this is on Sephora in Canada. And they're having the audacity to sell this for 42 Canadian dollars. And I've done the math. And by the math, I mean Googled. And that's about 20 yeah. euro or 26 pounds for six shades. You know what? The packaging is so exciting as well. Yeah. And you open it and you're like, oh. It's it's like what Miss would say. It's a wank without a cum. Like, it's just very, very sad. Right, right. It's, it's like opening a Christmas gift and someone's like, it's a book before you open it. You know, it's like, oh, <laughs> it's really disappointing. And I, and Smiley is like a brand, right? Yeah, they did a collaboration with Smiley last year, which ended up in our roundup of... Uh, 2022 as one of the worst releases. No, okay. Really oh God, sad. why like, do they keep doing that? There's beige, and then it was just like five tones of biscuits. Like I don't get why they keep pushing the naked thing. Like we get it. Yeah, that is strange. Yeah. Like put some clothes back on. You know. Yeah. Zip it up. Nobody wants to see that at this point. Nobody asked. Nobody asked. Yeah, I mean the packaging. <laughs> 11 out of 10 the rest of it really oh, yeah like even the shimmers in there like what they're colorful shimmers i love color but then what am i me- are they just meant to be for like a cut crease is that yeah, what- when, like when and that, that's the thing you put two colors in there and like okay so you can you can use this like three different ways and then what like it's not it, yeah it feels like the people that are putting these together don't do makeup they just, right, that's so like true. Nice colors. Yeah, it it's feels, like how do we include everyone? News it feels and like color. My husband just sat down and went, "I'm going to make a palette," <laughs> um, yeah. because God bless him, beautiful, beautiful man, but not a lick of sense when it not comes clear. to makeup. He oh, would do nice like a full shimmer palette and be yeah. like, "You can put all of this onto your eyes." Oh, yeah. No. Oh no, yeah. no, 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 that's. Cool, get some precision in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's very ambitious, if nothing else. Um, oh, sweet Jesus, though, when I put it to you guys, oh, they are dead in the water. The, the yellowy one, it. 2% loved it. And the more pinky, purpley one, 3% loved it. I will say the pinky, purpley one, that's primarily shimmers. So, mm. Hell are you gonna do with that? Then we have Mac who have collaborated with Richard Quinn. And because I'm not fancy, I didn't know who Richard Quinn was. So I did a bit of Googling again. And he's apparently a London-based designer who is the same age as me. So I feel very inferior. Thanks. Um, <laughs> so apparently he just like all these beautiful floral designs and like really amazing okay. prints, and they look fabulous and they've clearly taken his idea of like really gorgeous aesthetics and prints and florals and just shoved it onto their stuff and yeah we have like there's a lot to this but what I will say is a lot of it is existing products that they've just repackaged Mm. so Mm. be very careful and don't like panic buy and go off and be like oh I'll get this because you're gonna end up duping yourself if you right mac collection the palette itself is 38 pounds and i know they've like said it's a pastel palette but there's pastel and then there's whatever that is like, yeah there's, there's pastel color. farting yeah it's it's you know it really looks like that linda holberg palette they did yeah. once a while back yeah it, it just brings it brings that to mind i I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the repetition of products. I think the packaging beautiful. Mm-hmm. I I do miss it. Not that I buy a Mac anymore, but I do miss the days of there being a collection and it just being unique. You didn't have to bring out six lip lip products and repackage Lady Danger and Mare and all the other ones. 
bring out just those unique ones and make it like you know a statement collection rather than having repackages of everything because it's boring how many times can you own the same lipstick just with nice flower <laughs> if you collect just with nice packaging you know and then they release this cherry blossom fix plus all the time again just in different packaging one of their mascaras the pencils do look kind of cute I think they look kind of nice I don't know I don't know like I will say I traditionally always say I love when a palette has a black in it because I yeah like, I agree with that that's mm-hmm. like a general catchphrase of mine I need to come up with something <laughs> a little bit more interesting but it, on this one it just doesn't make sense because if you're gonna have a pastel palette just do a pastel palette because you can't yeah. increase the depth of those shades <laughs> no it's, it's it's like adding it's always adding white to something you know what I mean all the pa- pastels they have this white undertone to them and it, it's just you're, it's gonna be a horrible mess I don't I would like to see this in action and see what it looks like on different skin tones, on different people in different scenarios, because it's very much something you, for me, that you look at and you're like, oh, that looks so cute. And then you buy it. It's like, I have no, I never have a need to use this, you know? I have like one of their previous palettes that was kind of like a pastel-y thing. It was the Botanic Panic. I'll put a picture up now for you guys so you can see. And I loved that. I thought it was a beautiful formula, but it gives a lot more color than this. And I just Mm. like, oh, packaging five million out of ten love it like if, yeah you could just give me do you know what i'd love if they did just like an empty palette and you could put some of the singles in that you already have cute cute be, yeah wow. yeah and what what a great like um option for collaborations as well like a, a different design palette every month or every whatever you know and, and you can put your singles in there and I think I just, what's that mascara? That's one of their regular mascaras, yeah, right? Their new, their newer one. They came out with that about a year ago. The Max, right? Mm-hmm. Which oh yeah, good. I had a really annoying sound that everyone was using. It was yeah. so horrible. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't change anyone's life, believe it or not. Because no. <laughs> mascara, just saying, lads. It's a beautiful looking collection on the surface with absolutely etc. But I think when they're coming out with a lot of repeat stuff, I don't get it, particularly when traditionally Mac would have always been like, let's be environmentally friendly. They had like a green program, but then they kind of scrapped right. it. Right. They're now they kind stopped of... stopped it. Mm. Yeah. And I'm like, so what are you doing, lads? Mm-hmm. It's really... Yeah. It's like a step it is, It's very strange. I, so, I just... You know what? And I think as well, maybe it's nice for a newer audience of the brand but for people who remember how they used to be when they were the brand of makeup it was it's it's disappointing yeah I would expect Mm. a lot more like it's nice I'm sure if I got it I'd be like oh this is fine Mm, mm. I'd probably forget that I had it yeah Yeah, exactly (laughs) mostly because I have a terrible memory. Yeah, a lot of a lot of repeat stuff, just kind of disappointing. And when I put it to you guys, the palette didn't do well. That was like a 9% love it. The gel pencil did not so great. The lipsticks were a little bit more favorable. And again, a lot of you guys were just saying that you loved the packaging, but it does feel like MAC mm. have kind of fallen down quite a bit. And I love that we're going from MAC now to Catrice. <laughs> you know, just a real juxtaposition <laughs> price point. This is My Little Pony. I don't know. I, I was a weird kid in the 90s. I didn't like a lot of the things that the other people liked. Yeah. Um, I was very like ancient Egypt. Let's just sit and read. Love them. it. Oh my God. I had a poster of um, a two and um, uh, what's it called? So, uh, no, not Sorry. Coffin. What's it actually? Yeah. Okay. On my wall from National Geographic. I loved it. I think everyone went through a phase of just like... <laughs> everyone, yeah, everyone loved Either Egypt. Egypt, Egypt like. Greece or Rome. Love it. That, that was them. it. But <laughs> yeah, so I kind of missed the whole My Little Pony thing. I was more of a Polly Pockets kind of girl. Oh my God, yes. I had Mighty Max and it, oh, it was incredible. Oh my God. I remember my friend's Polly Pocket that had makeup in the top. So like a little bit will flip open. There was like three different creams. There was a red, a pink and like a yellowy glittery one. Not glitter, it was like shimmer. And underneath was like the whole Polly Pocket thing. Dreams. It, amazing. <laughs> Love when, it. Like, Love it. You could give kids small things that they could swallow. And we were like, oh, well, <laughs> survival of the fish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> like just, you know, definitely like <laughs> separating the wheat from the chaff sort of yeah. thing. You know? <laughs> If it was meant to be, it was meant to be. We'll see if exactly. the 
you know and then the children's allowance came in in this country and we were like well let's make sure that they stay alive (laughs) get a bit of money off the government for it yeah this is like a a strange little collection yeah palette there's a highlighter they've said there's a lip and cheek activator which when i looked at it it looked like a lip balm and is it going to be that thing that's like it makes your lips pink depending on your ph thing whatever it is i hear one one more ph thing and catrice have done i can't just throw all of them in the bin get rid of them this we did this we did this years ago and everyone's acting like it's some new discovery it's like no everyone gets it's the same pink it's, it's like, oh, very frustrating yeah I, I think it. I think that's what it is I mm. do have the nail polishes they're kind of cute cute yeah Two ninety nine each and then there's a brush set and a pouch which you can only get online it does somewhat bother me that when I'm looking at the nail polishes and the lip balm it's just a black and white and I kind of want to color them in um, no. I'm like, oh, maybe that's what you want me to do to buy them and just sharpie on with them. Like, it's a four. Yeah. I will say Catrice is kind of hit or miss. Like, there's some stuff that I really, really like from them. And then there's other th- things that I've like gotten and kind of thought, oh, God. Yeah, I had some lipsticks from them that people were like saying are, are so great. And I tried them. I was like, I really don't like, I really didn't like them at all. They actually um, had a smell taste. It was, it was gross. Mm, you know, when it's here and here. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> I I feel like the color story of this is really weird and disjointed when you look at the palette. Like there's that yeah. shimmer. I'm happy. I do. Want, I'm happy with the. Uh, so in my mind, right, it seems as though they have taken the things that I guess are more like portable that people would have around in their purses or in their bags or in their cars and made them that black and white if that makes sense like the nail polishes with brushes and the lip bar no was it cheek and lip activator those kind of touch up pieces that they've made to be a little bit more I guess acceptable in public and then kept the color to the pieces that maybe you wouldn't have to touch up with like the eyeshadows and the highlighter um and I do appreciate the deep theming but the palette again is a little bit I, I do want but I wouldn't know what to expect from my little pony I don't I wouldn't know what to like I don't know what their thing is what their, their horses with nice tails and yeah. some of them fly. I know that much. Because when I was working okay. with kids, there was a few that were like really interested in it. Of like, oh, this one has wings. Yeah. Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Sparkles. There's, some, and it, there's a part of my brain that has that information. And I've tried to. Yeah. Away. Um, yeah. It's just, it's just not for me. You know, I'd prefer an actual horse. But anytime mm. I'm around them, they do try to eat my hair. Don't know why. Um, Nutrition. Yeah, I assume. <laughs> Love your horses. <laughs> constantly. Yeah, it's it's fine. Like I can it, over here in our pennies, aka Primark. Catrice is actually yeah, stuck, and I yeah. can totally see some poor parent bringing their child through Penny's Primark, trying to get them, you know, their new clothes because they're constantly growing. Yeah. Up. Yeah. And a child just kind of going, I want this. It's kind of right, right. Yeah, yeah, 100%. It's fine. I'm not going to get it. I, I, yeah, I don't not like it, but I'm also not interested in buying it, you know? I don't hate it with like a fine passion. I feel very, yeah. Yeah, and same, same. a lot of you guys were kind of the same the thing that kind of hit the highest was the highlighter which mm. kind of makes sense because sometimes their highlighters are quite nice and the activator thing you didn't like it so thank christ and there's more kind of nostalgia happening here this is strawberry shortcake who have collaborated with honey De, and this is an actual proper licensed thing because honey De, okay. like an indie brand so i always find it surprising when they actually managed to get like licenses get for- a license yeah so like yeah. well done them. I will say I again somehow I'm now starting to think I had a very deprived childhood uh because I didn't have this, so I didn't really know what this was. I don't know who these people are. I have no idea <laughs> what this is. This was like big in America in the 80s. Right. And okay, like that makes 80s. sense. Um so in Ireland, generally we get like the night like we got the 80s in the 90s you know, when everyone else... Okay, yeah. But we get it like a decade later. Yeah. Uh, so 
I'm like, oh God, it's kind of funny that we didn't actually end up with this, but we didn't. Yeah. So this is like a set of palettes. There's apparently four characters. There's the strawberry shortcake, orange blossom, huckleberry pie, and lemon meringue. And they're coming out on the 27th. I don't like palettes that are shaped strangely. They just- I don't either. Kind of- <laughs> Yeah. Irk me. But that's from a sheerly pragmatic- I have a disgusting amount of eyeshadow palettes. Storage, exactly. Yeah, 100%. I think, I think for people who like love this thing, this toy mm-hmm. nostalgia thing, mm-hmm. they're not going to care about the shape of it. They're just No, like, exactly. Yeah, and actually, to be fair, if, if it's something I liked, I would buy it if it was a weird shape. Yeah, I, I mm. do make exceptions because I am a hypocrite. And I'm Same. okay with it. Um, <laughs> They are apparently scented, which... Oh, I love that. I, I like I like that. Things that shouldn't be scented but are, I think are a good time. Why does eyeshadow need to be scented, you know? <laughs> Why does that no, need to be scented? <laughs> it's, it's confusing for... for yeah. Men, though, I will say, because I've taken out eyeshadow palettes that smell of something and my husband is just like, oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, can yeah. I... Is it edible? And I'm like, do not eat the makeup. <laughs> A little bit, a little bit. In your 20s, a little you little must know better than this, sir. Um, <laughs> and now I understand why we have full advertisements about not eating, like... You're right, iPod. not suitable for in inside or- orifices. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that wasn't for children, but was for husbands. Yeah, yeah. Just... Any, anyone who's hungry. <laughs> yeah, essentially, leave them for long enough, they will snack on your makeup. Do you know what? The colors of, like, say, the strawberry shortcake, the reddy, greeny one, I, I don't hate that. Like, I like red. I green. like it. Yeah, I, I quite like the strawberry shortcake one and the huckleberry pie one, yeah. I think are quite nice. Whereas I'm looking at the other two and they look revolution esque, you know? Yeah. When revolution do that thing where they bunch a load of neutrals and, and deeper tones or washed out tones and then pop in, like, four bright colors and, like, this is it. This is anything you know yeah just make of it what you will I will say for the strawberry shortcake and the huckleberry pie I feel like there's a few shades missing that would have made sense so so for instance with the huckleberry pie there's like a pale blue matte that I feel is missing Mm. and Mm. that would have been nice nice. Mm -hmm. Um, with the uh, strawberry shortcake I'd like to see like more of a like a cerise matte pink in there I mean yeah a, a limey green matte or a shimmer would Cute. be really nice some yeah. of the redesign palettes I'd love that oh my god yeah beautiful yeah. beautiful yeah. <laughs> so so closely there I mean it's it's not bad the swatches don't look bad either I will say they're yeah. all light toned mm-hmm. like it's there's not a lot of like very deep shades and there's not a lot of very light shades right but again this is not a palette I think for general use this is a here's my display piece yeah exactly I yeah I think it's a fun thing to have and makeup is fun so yeah you know what? fair enough like I'm not going to give out to anyone too, right yeah I think I know um, some people were on to me on my social media about this and they were saying because there was somebody in Spain they're like I really want to get this but it doesn't ship to Spain I think this might be just like a US based brand so okay if your heart is set on it you may have to like go through several different channels friends of friends yeah <laughs> yeah or uh what was it Sam was saying the other week of if he really wanted something he was like I oh, just just get a flight over to New York and buy it there. And I'm like, how is that cheaper? Just get a flight? Yeah, no. <laughs> terrible decisions over here. Um, Yeah, it's, it's fine. But when I put it to you guys, it did not fare that well. I think maybe just, again, we are a limited bunch of people. 1% of you loved the orange blossom. 4% loved the strawberry shortcake. 3% loved the huckleberry pie. And 1% loved the lemon meringue, which were, mm. I, I agree with those two palettes are kind yeah, of same. for me we have dominique cosmetics and i will say i never hear that much from dominique cosmetics they aren't one of those ones that are right. like constantly pushing out mm. which i appreciate i love it when a brand isn't mm. constantly churning things out right it feels like she has maybe two releases a year type of thing and again yeah yeah i'm here for that so this is the essential eyeshadow palette and it is available now if you are interested it's 49 dollars. it looks nice like it looks fine i think it's a very, yeah. very everyday I understand why she's called it the essential palette there's 
part of this that reminds me a little bit of um and it's not as nice as the glossy gods i don't know if you've seen glossy gods no i'll send you a link to them um, i'll say i'm not good with with indie, indie brands glossy gods have this beautiful neutral palette like with all these and i mean disgustingly beautiful shimmers and mm. like a neutral one but then they have a purpley toned one i'll send you the purpley toned one nice yeah because it is stunning it's very very nice and it reminds me a little bit of this but not as like this isn't as nice as the glossy gods one which is awful yeah say. fair enough but there you go that shade fearless looks i mean i want to know how many times they've passed over that swatch because it does look very pigmented that black yeah yeah it is i do have to say i do have some dominique um cosmetics products and there's one palette i i like really like in particular it was gifted to me i have to say that it was the big like it was like a multi-use one so there's shades in there you can use for your eyebrows contour eyeshadows all this stuff and it is a really beautiful palette and it's come in handy so many times so if this is the same formula then that black is going to be a really really nice black um and i'm actually i'm looking at the shade positivity <laughs> like i love it i love I love a good biscuit beige. I, I I think that's really nice um, with, within that thing. And even Confident has that like brownie deep wine almost to it. True. I do. I, I like all the shades, but as you, as the name says, essential, it's kind of like, yeah, it, it is a very much like essential, you know? I think, I think what Dominique does very well, uh, Kristen Dominique does quite well, is she makes kind of palettes for people who don't want to have massive collections. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like she's like okay, true. I'm gonna give you stuff that you're gonna only gonna buy makeup once or twice a year here you mm. go mm -hmm. and I think I think that's smart and I, it's nice to see that in a market at this point when everyone is like here buy everything all the time forever and always right right so exactly for me I appreciate that given my collection which is disgusting like I've I'm like a squirrel at this point. I'm living in a very small house uh, that we're renting at the moment. And there's not a lot of storage space. So there's lots of boxes everywhere with just palettes. Yeah. And poor Sahil is just like, why is there an eyeshadow palette here? And I'm like, stop questioning. How did that get there? I've had that forever. Yeah. <laughs> like a squirrel. Like I'll be cleaning that. Oh, I forgot I had this. Oh, okay. So I have that in common with squirrels. Yeah. Uh, but instead of nutrition, I'm just, you know, stocking away pigment. So come the zombie apocalypse, come over to mine and you will be highlighted and beautiful. That was what was missing from The Walking <laughs> Dead was just a really nice. Yeah, uh, just that touch of sparkle. <laughs> I mean, come on, Michonne, just because you're like beheading zombies, it doesn't mean yeah, come on. you can't have a nice vibrant lip. Right, just because you're, you know, wearing the same shirt for the rest of your life doesn't mean you can't have a few little bits of glamour now and then. Make an effort, guys. <laughs> Make an effort. Yeah, I mean, this is fine. Um, I mm. think she knows her um kind of audience. I agree. Yeah, it, it makes sense. It's not for me, but again, that's because I have uh some would say too much and too yeah. Much screw you I would be kind of into it I just the, there's one shade in there that would make me whenever I see shades like compassion which is that orangey tone it kind of puts me off because I'm just like oh, I don't know what it is about that that tone but I, I'm just the rest of them I really really like I think it's I think mean, it's a nice palette and if I was to have it I'd be like yeah this is cute yeah I think it's a very nice like everyday wearable mm do whatever you want yeah it's yeah. Great. when I put it to you guys 14% of you loved it so I think a lot of us to be fair anyone who watches my channel tends to like very colorful stuff this is badass beauties and this is like a, again another little indie brand and they've collaborated with Ashley Elliott if you don't know her she's a content creator on TikTok and I thought I didn't know her but she's actually turned up randomly on my FYP she's this beautiful oh. red-headed lady and she's in the army and she always has like her hair up in a bun and and she actually has her own small business of like hair gel. Nice. Okay. Had to oh, yes. I've seen her a few times. You know yeah. I Literally knew doing her hair. Yeah. yeah. So she actually has her own small business. And what happened okay. was 
uh, she was in a TikTok live, apparently. And the owner of Badass Beauties just kind of reached out and was like, be friends, yes. And then they just started this friendship. And this is where this nice. collaboration actually came from. So they're doing a pre-order, like as you're watching, it's already happened. And you can get the whole bundle for $160. I got to say, that isn't bad for an indie brand when you look at everything that you're actually getting, in my opinion. Mm. But they have said that the pre-orders will take 10 weeks to ship. So just be aware of that. And there's 2,000 wow. slots available. But if you're kind of more interested in one thing rather than the whole thing, you can get individual items come June. The palette makes an awful lot of sense because, again, Ashley Elliott, she does like work in the army, but also Badass Beauties is a veteran owned brand. So okay. this makes sense for both the brand and for the collaborator. Right. I mean, I am a sucker for greens. I don't know if it's because I'm Irish or I don't know. It's it's a thing. Uh, yeah, I love greens. So I quite like this. I think that tone of green at the top left hand corner I would like it to be a bit more yellowy toned I was yeah it's a, that looks a bit troublesome um, yeah. in, in terms of a green also I, I mean I've never used their textures before but when you get matte shades like that the 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 work you have to put into building them up and blending and building up and blending and then if you want to add another a matte color on top but it, it kind of gets that patchiness to it so it'll be interesting to see how that works alongside all the other ones when I looked at this before you said, you know, who it was with and who it was owned by, I actually didn't like it at all. I was like, this looks boring. It looks very drop shipped, wholesale, that card packaging, you know, that everyone has. But it's packaging aside, looking at the colours and the palette, I, I do quite like it. Um, And the swatches look really beautiful as well. I'm interested to see how this actually goes and I think when you know the story mm. behind it it kind of it makes up an awful lot more sense I think context is important I will say when I was looking at the the blush duo and like the highlighters I felt personally attacked because the <laughs> highlighter says brighter than your future and I've never felt so seen in, in a brand really and the blush is called annoy your husband so again this is just huh? speaking to my personal life really <laughs> Um, I, I do find the choice of shades in those two very strange. I would like to know the thought behind it, that that bold orangey red with that, like, I love that. Ro I like these two shades individually. I, I do find it a strange combination. I guess it's like a version of nude for somebody and a version of bright for someone else. And even the highlighters of it, they're meant to be highlighters, right? Are they bronzers? Yes. Yeah. They're highlighters, yeah. Hmm. They're very dark. And I will say, because Ashley herself, she's a redhead. Yeah, she's quite fair. I've just seen, yeah, it, it's great for whoever whoever um can you know use that tone. But I find it weird it being in a duo. Like, why not make three separate individual highlighters and then you can cover a good basis with three, you know, minimum. So I do find that strange. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I personally wouldn't be like a big fan of like duos of highlights, etc. I prefer to get mm. those because if I ever mm. get a duo, it's usually there's one shade that'll suit me. And then there's another shade that I'm like, well, this isn't wearable, but I convince yeah. myself and buy it. And I'm like, oh, I'll just use it as, as an eyeshadow <laughs> topper. No, you won't. <laughs> yeah. You're an idiot. You make all of these promises and you never. Yeah, it never happens. It never happens. <laughs> I, I do. You know what? Yeah, yeah, it's the thoughts there. <laughs> and it will, one day it will make a nice eyeshadow. One day. <laughs> In the zombie apocalypse. You know, exactly. I do like that as a brush set release of this. I think that's cute. That's a nice touch, right? It's yeah. very rarely we see a whole set now release with somebody, apart from like Spectrum, who do these incredible sets with people, um, and Sigma. These, these are just, um, yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, it was the brush set that kind of got me, because I was looking at all of the different shapes, mm. and I like how, mm. I like a nice, small little brush, and there's a lot in there. And like, I feel like a yes, good brush yeah. set itself, like considering this whole bundle is $160. I mean, to right. get a good brush set, that's mm. pricey, she said, as she's surrounded by brushes. I was going to say, even that, that whole set, I mean, that could be potentially for some brands, a hundred itself, you know? So that's good. It's, it's nice to see a brush set like that yeah. um, for such a good value. Nice. 
I don't hate it. I think it's it's quite nice. I'll definitely be keeping an eye out on the brand. What mm. about you guys? 23% of you loved the palette. There was kind of some mixed results when it came to the blushes and the highlights. We didn't feel that strongly on the glasses, uh, but slightly more positive towards the brushes. This is the very last thing we're actually going to talk about. Um, uh. I... I don't know if you know, there's a fabulous UK brand called Artitude Cosmetics. They're I haven't fab- heard of them. I don't think. I might I might have. If I saw this stuff, I'd probably know it. They're very, very good. They're they're UK based and um there's a, a new palette that is coming out. I I have it and I have had it since uh September. This is you know when Jacqueline Hill says things like, I've been working on this for two years. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always thought that was like nonsense. A joke, yeah. But actually, because I've been going backwards and forwards because now this isn't, I'm not, I'm not collabing. Let's be very, very clear on this. Um, Rook's kind of sent out a thing of saying, I would like somebody to give me feedback so I can construct Cute. it. Yeah. And that's kind of, she does that whole thing of like being like there for the community. And I happened to be one of the people that she was like, you give feedback. And I was like, yeah, fantastic. So, so I've had this since September and we've been going backwards and forwards on uh, like changing formulas, taking out particular shades. So she did say this is coming out, by the way, in March. So this is the first official sneak peek. So just, oh my God, say, this is what it's looking Cute. like. And she did say, I can, um, I can I can show a shade so I'm kind of like I'm looking at all of them trying to figure out which one I, okay I want to go with this one I rooks don't hate me I'm gonna do two so uh <laughs> it, you said one and I've just got okay so this is one it's like a beautiful green. oh oh my god that looks wet that looks really nice <gasps> oh my god I love that it's almost as though like it's like a champagne <gasps> But there's a green shift to it. Mm. And then, oh, that looks so good. Oh, stop. Oh, my God. Finger, like, yeah. Rude, I promise. Uh, <laughs> wow. And Beautiful. I, this is, by the way, the old prototype, right? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. The formula has changed since it's gotten better. Yeah. Mm. Right? Nice. So I am, uh, I am very excited about this. So. Yeah. Just as an FYI, that that is coming out, lad. So something Beautiful. to be excited about. And uh, I will say because you'd know I've had a little disgusting paw in it. Because can I say that <laughs> Brooks is going to be like, no, you've given too much away, Teresa. Yeah, you he's going to show two, and you one, he showed two. <laughs> I also want to say I've been very good because I've had this since September. I haven't fucking said a word. Good. I I don't know how people keep the secrets because I'm like <laughs> I keep them in my hair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you have to show me off camera, but no, I will respect for privacy. No, I'm so no. <laughs> but I mean, guys, like I personally, I really like I've tested this out several times and I kind of came back and I, I did insist, no, can I say it? Oh, good. No, you know, I do agree, though. It's nice. I always look at palettes from the, the state of thought of, like, it's somebody's first ever palette. I mean, that's kind of what I think. And mm-hmm. I, um, I'm super excited about this. I really love the brand. Um, They have a lot of stuff that I just gravitate to. Like, even some of the brushes that I brought with me are Artitudes. The lipstick I wore on my wedding day was an Artitude. Oh, yeah. their, their graphic liner palette is spectacular it's so good Beautiful. it's only like 36 pounds but you get like it's like 18 shades or something in there it's not nice it's like cool. metallics and duochromes so this is i believe it's is it the third or fourth palette at this point yeah fourth palette and uh i in my opinion it's my favorite one so far i'm gonna have to check them out i'm so bad with indie brands so maybe i'll stalk you for a little while and and see what happens see yeah. what's out there you know do and I, I highly recommend them and it, look I have yeah. such a soft spot for like little indie brands you know yeah they genuinely they, gen- they generally tend to 
love makeup in the same obsessive way that I do. Right, right, yeah, that's a good point, yeah. Oh my gosh. But my friends, you that that's it. Those are the sneak peeks, and that is the end of this week's episode. But I do have my favorite. Uh, comments and I was very naughty because I wasn't on releases and rants last week I took a a self-care sort of a day Uh, so I decided I'd make up for it and have uh, two comments so the first is from Megan who said could this be an actual releases and rants video where there is no color pop release do my eyes deceive I must have woken up in an alternate reality don't worry Megan we have we fixed that for you Um, I don't know if, if that's necessarily a repair or if we've just yeah. made the world that little bit more broken. I mean, right? you know what? It's just the way of the world. You can't escape it anymore. <laughs> I've tried. I've tried. Yeah. And then my second comment was from the lovely Cheryl. She said, watching this while in hospital the day after BC revision surgery. Thanks for the distractions. Lovely ones. The pain is kicking my arse. Theresa FYI, Glamlight has opened up their shipping to Australia. Finally, hopefully Ireland is next. So I'm getting myself a post-surgery gift. That's the thing, right? And I've been thinking about you lots, Cheryl, and hoping that you're doing well. So sending you lots of love. And I agree, you should buy yourself nice things. I'm not saying that money buys happiness, but actually there is... Some it helps. <laughs> like I'm literally just teaching my students that money does actually buy happiness based upon right. research. So, <laughs> like I said, I'm just going to contradict myself constantly. But my gorgeous <laughs> friends, that is it. That is the end of the video. Do please like, comment, and subscribe to myself. And obviously, you're probably already subscribed to Robert. <laughs> I find it very weird. If you haven't already. Me. <laughs> There's no way that somebody's watching me and doesn't know you, Robert. That would be re- the- it, no. It happens. Of course, it happens. Absolutely. So find me. I'm guessing it'll be below. <laughs> oh, I refuse to tag you, Robert. No credit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I will also say I'm going to have um, the links down below of all the fabulous people who have appealed, appeared on releases and rants with me over the last couple of weeks to just say a major thank you I'm all about building a community over here so a big thank I I, because I will forget names but I have you all down below so if you haven't subscribed to them go and check them out they are spectacular uh but my friends that is it uh and do please share because sharing is caring except of course for STDs in which case you know just wrap it up don't be gross yeah Mm -hmm. that's it my friends and I will see you guys in the next one bye thanks for having me bye